how do you lose a million dollars? Um, it's not all at once. Yeah. Um, collectively, um, pouring into people that wasn't worth pouring into. Um, instead of people trying to figure out their own way how to get stuff, I'm the um I'm, I'm they come to you because I'm blood. the first point of contact. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. And so I started getting comfortable, started getting comfortable. Now, when I went to, um, I started getting comfortable. I put on a pair of Gucci sneakers, but everything was always designer. I was des a designer freak. Okay. You know, um, just a, a whole designer junkie. So when I went to end up going to prison or whatever, and this is some real stuff, because I lost a lot of money when I was hustling. Mm. I lost over a million dollars. It is mm. what it is. And just think how much money I spent on designer stuff. Um, and and I, I think different. I, I think real weird. You know, when I was locked up, all that money I was stealing from them damn banks and everything and spending that money on designer stuff. And now one of them damn designers reached out to me. <laughs> no, they not, didn't. Not, and Gucci ain't uh -uh. saying nothing to me. Not the banks who own Gucci. Uh -uh. Louboutin ain't saying nothing to me. Uh, uh, Ferragama ain't now one of them thought about my black ass. A lot they of, didn't know you. They didn't know a damn thing about me. Yet I'm up here knocking over everybody bank to go get their stuff. Right. Damn them people. Mm. Well, I want to talk about something you you don't skip over with OECEO. -O -E you you just said something that struck a nerve with me. Uh, how did you lose a million dollars? That's what I was just about to ask her too. Um, Let's detail that because a million dollars. I listen. I've lost money, not no million, but I've lost money. How do you lose a million dollars? Um, it's not all at once. Yeah. Um, collectively. Um, pouring into people that wasn't worth pouring into um instead of people trying to figure out their own way how to get stuff i'm the um I'm, I'm they come to you because i'm blood. the first point of contact you talk to me before you talk to your parents like you know um taking on other people's responsibilities making poor choices not investing the money i'm hustling like hustling heavy but not investing the money um bam bullshit family Family, some family, a lot of friends. You know, all the friends that disappeared when I went to prison. Okay, so them friends, yeah, they gonna disappear when you go to prison. We Shit, family too. So. Family, friends, all that stuff detached themselves from you what? because at the end of the day, when you go into prison and you getting ready to leave, everybody, you know, they, they you lose them when you're fighting, trying to get yourself out of trouble. A lot of times you see them leave at that point, right? So... When you got ready to go to prison, like you, you already were losing money. How much money did you have? Would you say when you were going into prison? When I was going into prison, um, okay. When I first went on the run, I had about eighty thousand dollars. Okay. You know, and I broke that money up between it was two dudes that I was talking to, my children, um, left their grandparents um, with some money. That's when I first went on the run. Now, some of that money was put out into the street, and this is some real shit. Some of the money that was put out into the street was supposed to uh, make money while I was gone. Instead, motherfuckers went to the club and 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 paid for their friends to get in VIPs and bought weed to smoke, and no, nothing was... I had absolutely nothing. It was to the point, like, my jewelry and stuff. My jewelry and shit had to be pawned. Wow. I came home, and, and it, wait... Let me, here's, here's, the, here's the funny thing. Now, I said when I first went to jail, I didn't say prison. When I first went to jail, meaning I have to go through a whole process. So they didn't so wait that long. <laughs> a bitch was locked up for 30 days. And they gave me a bond. When they gave me a bond, I came home and every fucking body was broke. Mm. Oh, you got out on bond. That is, Cause I had to, go, I, you know, I, they they put me on tours. So I had to go to all these these different jails and shit. Come up on my charges before I could even get a rain for my initial charge. So when they found, I finally went to go see all these people and they figured out what they want to do with me. Um, I finally get to my my real people, the real judge. You know that I had the biggest case that I had been indicted on, and they give me a bond. Feds come get me. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want me. Send me right back. I right, cool. Got my bond. I got my bond. Bond out. Go, go to Chicago. It's 30 days. I'm only gone 30 days. And all these super stupid motherfuckers done spend every day. Did you cuss everybody out? Man, fuck them. 
Yeah, I, I couldn't cuss everybody out because right now I'm trying to figure it out. So people try to, a lot of people always say, well, how did you end up catching another case while you was out on bond? Because a bitch was trying to get back because they spent all my money. Wow. And you had to pay for lawyers and everything else. Uh, oh, to pay for. oh, lawyer. <laughs> my lawyer cost me $30,000. I gave him $15,000 initially. This motherfucker showed up in court with all his dirty clothes on. Huh? Where you get that lawyer from? Was he a court appointed? Yeah, he's not a public defender. That's a court appointed attorney. That's yeah. a public defender. I had a paid lawyer. And he come up in he the courtroom dirty. Yeah, he had somebody else what? damn shoes. He just huh? woke up. I don't think my judge was so disappointed in my choices in life, including that lawyer. Damn. So you you, you felt like damn, this ain't gonna be good when you got to court. You already knew. I know you. I mean, when you when you when you, listen, when you when you behind one, you always try to stay hopeful. You know what I'm saying? You always. But it was that look on the judge face. He just looked at him. The judge was just like Miss Robinson. You could have, you know. <laughs> I know you laughed yourself. I know you laughing now, but I bet you that oh, day you no. was not smiling I, at all. Listen, it, uh, oh, no, I wasn't. It's like your suit jacket don't even go with your pants. Like your <laughs> shoes. Who got you them shoes you got on? Like his tie. Who taught you how to tie a tie? I know you don't show up all your... Anybody who ever got this dude, I know they went to jail. This dude, so he just didn't... What made you pick him, though? Here's some Can't recommend shit. it. No, no, no. Can't <laughs> recommend Recommend that somebody else who went to jail. <laughs> this ain't like you get and your went to jail. jail at the same time. Why would you take somebody who went to jail? They didn't win. Listen, listen. I, this, there ain't even no words for this stupid shit. Because nobody will ever believe it. How old this. were you at this time? Um, you must have been like, nah, you I too old to know. You know no, better. No, 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 no. You have no, to know no, better. In my defense, I had never had to deal with the police, judge, none of this shit before. But you in the street life, I'm sure people talk. I don't talk I'm to them. I don't talk to people who go to jail. <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to stay out. I want to talk to the people who are free. You not making no money in jail? Who making money in jail? I hear a lot of people be making money in jail. I mean, I don't I mean I, it was nobody in prison or whatever that I was talking to. Everybody I was talking to was out free. We we thriving. You gotta understand, none of my friends have jobs. You know, motherfuckers have businesses or or back then everybody was hustling the same type of hustle. We running, we running these streets, we doing whatever. We not out there game banging. We not out there um, on the corner. None of this. No. God damn it, we at the fight. We sitting at the fights. We in Las Vegas. Every time you look up, we in a different city some damn way. I don't, none of my friends, none of the people I hung with was typical people. We all was hustling our own way and we all touching money. So when you're touching money, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.